later after going to Kent's, we got another project here. And stopped at my buddy Justin's house and he's having problems with this old International Scout getting this new fuel pump in. And we've got a bolt in here. And I think the thread inside the block is just dirty. So we're gonna see if we can help him out real quick and get this cleaned out and get this going through here. So I'll show you that. If the camera will focus. I like the one arm bandit with the camera here. Now I have suspicions that this bolt may be too long, but it's hard to tell because we didn't see the original bolt. I'm going to keep cranking gently. And that's as far as I feel like we can go with that. So we're going to back my finger, measure the flange on the pump, and that bolt seems like... But for now, we've got the threads cleaned out. So let's go ahead and back it off and uh, see if we can get it out of there. I'll show you more in a second. Oh, we're looking at this pump here, and uh, oh, we're zooming really far in. And our flanges are way different. So we've got a fatty and one that's lost a little weight. So what we're going to probably have to do is cut that bolt down or get another bolt. So poor Justin, look at that sad face. But this is supposed to be the right pump. So we could washer it up with 18 washers, but that's not a good way to do it either. So I think what we'll probably do is adjourn this meeting and uh, reconvene at my shop for Justin to clean up tools. And uh, we're going to head over to my shop. Got Uni with us still. We're going to go camping. She's getting impatient. But we're going to go and see if we can either find a shorter bolt for him so he can get this in and uh, get that scout running again. We had it run the other day, but the fuel in it's really old. And the pump, diaphragm, the shot, and it's been sitting for quite a long time. Fuel smells horrible. So right now, I think he's just going to probably burn out what's in there, maybe mix it with some premium and see what comes through the filter. Worst case scenario, drop the tank. And I would think the carburetor needs a rebuild, but his biggest concern on that is the fact that uh, it's had some sort of electrical problem and we don't know what until we get it running and see where the smoke's coming from. Diagnose the scary way. What I'm do real quick is just find Justin a bolt that'll work for him. That may be one right there. Let's see what we got for a bolt on your pump. So you want to take that bolt out of the pump here and then uh, we will uh, see if that lines up. That's probably just about right. I know it's stuck in that gasket. See this gasket dumb. It's like a neoprene type gasket in it. All right. Looks like the right threading. So these are a little dirty, but uh, I'll run that through the uh, brush and uh, maybe uh, sand this down a little bit because the end of that's buggered. So I'll show you when we're done. We're over here at the bench grinder and uh, as always safety glasses on. Not for comfort, for safety. Okay, I'd say that looks a lot better. We changed bolts actually too, so I'm going to give that to Justin and uh, That'll be the end of that little project. Still got a little crud on there, but shouldn't affect it So hopefully that helps him out and lets him get that project done because he's been struggling with that for a few hours and It's not cooperating So as always, thanks for watching like comment subscribe and Hope you like the short video